This happened tonight in Panama City, Florida, where I believe there's a, a protection racket against these boom car punks that are going up and down the road. As of no November 4th, 2014, I was attempting to report a super loud car stereo boom car punk that was robbing me of my right to be able to live at home in peace. The recording is not as best as I'd like it to be, but you can actually hear where I am threatened the homeowner with arrest. From trying to report these boom car punks. I expect you all, listen. I won't, I won't. Okay, would you do me a favor, please, my friend? Let me explain something to you, okay? I love, I love cops. Even though as many times you've thrown me in jail, as many times you've thrown me in jail, I support you all. I'm trying to defend the ambulance and fire department people. I'm not trying to, I'm, so, how I'm how suffering, sir, sir, I'm suffering. I'm calling on this guy to bother with the call of bitches, you're not doing it. Uh, okay, number one. You listen. Uh, listen to it. How you doing, my friend? I I love you all. I'm I'm so afraid for you all. These boom car punks put people in danger. You know I don't give nobody a hard time. No, I'm afraid to. I'm afraid you're gonna arrest me. For what? So in other words, you're gonna arrest me outside, right? Once I get outside the threshold of my door, right? You're going to arrest me and throw me in jail, right? Let's talk right now. I'm scared. I'm scared because if I... If you're going to arrest me. I've never arrested you before. I've never harassed you before. I've never done nothing before. You know that. I can... Why can't we... I can hear you right through the window right now. I can hear you. I won't call. Listen. Listen. I will not... I will not call the di I will not call dispatcher anymore. Now let me explain to you, okay? I have no disrespect. Let, let, me, let, let, let me explain. But I, let me just one more phone call. I'll go wake up the judge, get a warrant. We're gonna come in and get you. I know. Oh, now, can I just speak, officer? Officer Stryker, can I? Can I? Assholes and using that. Number one. Recorded every night. Number. I'm hoping to. I'm hoping it's recorded. I'm hoping it's recorded all the all many times you're cussing at dispatch. First of all, number one, number one, Absolutely. you'll notice any time, you'll notice any time that I call, I'm very polite. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. I was just on the... You all got the recordings? Every time I call up, I say, I know where. No, Amanda, I know Eric. I was forced to, that's called entrapment. Entrapment 777 to a Florida statue. I won't call no more. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Listen, are we under the understanding? If you make another call and we come back out here, we're coming inside and we're arresting you. Do you understand? So you're protecting the boat car pumps that are robbing my right to be a citizen. I know I want to know something. So you don't you don't care about the phone calls. You don't call. You don't give us no information. What information? I I've given you information on cars. I've given you. I give you. I take oh, oh, but you won't do anything about these phone cars you go up and down the road. You won't do anything about them. Yes, is this uh Officer Johnson? No, sir. This is Detective Johnson. Oh, how you doing, Detective Johnson, my friend? Um, I... Pardon me? What can I help you with, sir? Um, I'm the one that had uh, Officer Stryker come over here and intimidate me because all I've been trying to do is get the dispatch. If you ask me to... I want to, I want to show you courtesy. I've been forced to... An officer, uh, Detective... Johnson, I get Detective Johnson, I've tried to live in my home in peace. The super loud car stereos go up and down the road. The line that I just, auto, just automatically want to cuss out the dispatchers. No, anytime I get on the phone, I say, how you doing? I know Eric. I know Michelle. I know Amanda that hung up on me. I wanted to find out why I was hung up on. I want to know the reason why these punks can go up and down the road robbing my right to be able to live in peace, break into my home. And yet the cops want to take and threaten and throw me in jail? What's going on? Yes, sir, let me tell you what he's talking about you, okay, officer? First of all, let me explain something to you. I support you all. I got a good friend who's Jay Walker, who's a, uh, 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 I got another one that's uh, Jason Jeter. We're very good friends. Okay? I support you. Do you know how much my heart cried when I heard about that punk 
Eric, Eric Freed that, that killed them two police officers, and you're out there, when I'm sleeping in my home, I'm afraid of the cops. I'm afraid I'm going to go to jail because all I tried to do is defend my right to live at home in peace. Now let me give you the exact way that I do it. I say there is a vehicle. I give a lot of times I can't see a tag because they're going so fast. A lot of times they, they, they tailgate on each other. A lot of times uh, they'll even tin out the tags. I even called in one car. It was a tan car where they tin out the tags with a gray tag that you can barely see. They use all different kinds of techniques to make it hard. They'll make it the way the lights don't even show up on the vehicle. So if somebody's a victim of a hit-and-run vehicle, do they go, sorry, tough luck, you didn't get the tag, we won't go in the description of the vehicle? And I'm afraid I'm going to... I'm afraid I'm going to go to jail because all I wanted to do was defend my right to live in peace. And okay, my friend. Okay, first of all, that's right. You know the reason why, um. Detective Johnson, you know the reason why I don't mention where I'm at? I've been thrown in jail by the cops one time for boom cars. I tried to get a jury trial. I was robbed of a jury trial because they knew if they ever came to a jury trial, the cops would be laughed right out of court. I'm afraid of the cops, not because I did anything bad, but because I feel like there's a protection racket going on with these boom cars under 895 of the Florida statutes. Under the United States Code, Title 18, 241, 242, it's a $10,000 fine and 10 years in prison. And that's in your cop's manual right there that when a cop violates my rights, intimidates me to be able for me to live in my home in peace. They break into my home officer under 1802 of the Florida statutes. That right there is a breaking interest of 15 years in jail. They put ambulance and fire department people in danger under 80610, interference with emergency vehicles. They do criminal gang signal instrumentalities under 876 of the Florida statutes. We're not correct. Didn't you swear an oath to support and defend the Florida Constitution, Detective Johnson? Okay, okay, Article 2, Section 7 of the Florida Constitution says unnecessary noise will not be tolerated. And I feel like I'm the one that's going to go to jail, and yet they, not one of these boom cars have been thrown in jail, yet these American enemies, under the definition of 876 of the Florida statutes, I feel like I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to have my freedom taken away because all I'm trying to do, what's more valuable than the space in your home? Is your home... of where I'm at, where they could use entrapment techniques on me, 777-2104 statutes. I'll tell you exactly what I do. I say he's going east to west or something. I might say he's going from, from west to east or east to west. And he's probably down at so-and-so. He's probably down at, at uh, Harrison Avenue. He's probably down Lisbon Avenue. Uh, and I, and uh, what other thing can I do? And then they'll say, where's he at right now? And I'll say, Pardon me, last time I checked, I can't put wheels on my house and run it down the road. Now, what I don't, what I don't understand is you're a detective. You can take a video camera and you can arrest every one of these punks. You can get the license plate numbers and everything. You can sit out there, you know, by a trolley there, and you can catch them. And this has been going on for years and years and years. I had one tonight just about bust my eardrums. Now, I can't understand it. You're a detective. You know about undercover techniques. You, I, did you know that they use radar detectors? These boom car pumps have radar, dark, radar detectors in their vehicle so that they can take and detect a car along, a, a, a police car way off them. You know about radar detectors in cars, right? Am I correct on that? Yes. And they use that to detect you. The speed detectors. So therefore, when you turn them off, they can't detect you. And I don't know why you don't take an arrest 
about Summer Sound, all these people that got these booms, car shops, FX Audio. I don't know why you don't arrest them under American Enemy. Seems to me like no matter how many stacks you try to look up, you know, as of November 4th, 2014, I have called so many calls. Why don't you review all the calls? Put them, put them dispatchers under perjury under 837 of the Florida statute. How about you standing up for the home owner, the, the, the home renter, the home dweller? I'm not rich enough to be able to live in a contained community where I can be away from these boom car punks. How about, how about you doing an interrogation? Why don't you, why don't you look at, listen to all the tapes, all the way back of all times, as, as much as I have tried my best, suffering bad in my home, four o'clock in the morning, the drug dealers will be coming back from Spenico and La Vila. I see the same cars going up and down the road. I'm sure you know what a pattern is, right? Okay, okay. Now, I want to know. Am I going to be thrown in jail when I walk out the door because all I try to do is defend my home? And will you, de will you review them tapes and listen to all of them about where I've been very, very polite? How would you feel if there was an emergency and you had Amanda or Samantha hang up on you? How many other people have she hung up on? Why don't you check that out? I'll help, I'll help you with this investigation. And we'll find out why it is Amanda and Samantha hung up on me. Dude, every time I hear a law breaking boom car, do I have a right to call or not? It's very simple. What else? And even if I give where I'm at and I talk to the cop, okay? How, do, how, does he find, how does he find that boom car by talking to me? How does he find them? That's right. But they can very easily put up a, a, a drag net. They can have somebody by a, a video camera out there by a trolley, nowhere near, their, nowhere near their cop car, and they can get every one of these punks going up and down the road. I never thought I'd see today that all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to live in my home in peace. And I have cops that want to take and throw me in jail? What's more sacred than your home? I know why cops leave their cars out on the, on the side of the road for where people can see them. Because you don't hear the boom cars. Because when the boom cars see your car, and you know what's really idiotic about the cops? Them stupid idiots. McDan there was a McDaniel, uh, the wife, I think it was uh, Johnny McDaniel, I think it was was murdered because his, his car was out there, and, and my heart goes out for any police officer that has fallen down. Okay? You tell me the reason why you've got your cop cars out in the front of the road if it ain't something to wear. you got a crime-free bubble. Boom cars, they ain't going to boom their car near your house. Now, does that mean I have a right to take and put a police, a police car out there in front of my place and look like a cop so I don't have to worry about... Then boom cars robbing me, me up, my right to sleep. Do I have right to do that? They call it. Okay, first of all, none of what. 943 is Florida Department of Law Enforcement standards. Am I correct on that? Yeah, that's right. Why don't you look in your manual uh, under there where it says that any citizen has a right to be able to live in peace in their home. Why don't you look under legal guidelines, guidelines United States Code Title 18, 241, 242, when cops aid and abet a criminal enterprise, they can go to jail 10 years, 10 years, and $10,000 fine. Not only that, when they do racketeering 895 in a Florida statute, that's, that's a minimum of 30 years in prison. But you see, I never, I never see the courts. I've been, I've, I've, I've spent almost a year in jail one time.